everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here to make your picks. So before we get into some NHL action for February 27th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools that you will need. So we're going to take a look at some games here. There are four games we want to take a look at for this day. So we're going to get started here. The Edmonton Oilers and the Carolina Hurricanes. The Oilers enter play 8th in the Western Conference, and the Hurricanes are near the top in the Eastern Conference, currently 2nd. You see, uh, Carolina is burning hot the moment, winners of their last 3 games and 4 out of their last 6, where the Oilers are average, losing their last 2 after a previous 4 game winning streak. You see that Edmonton has been involved in games over the line in 5 out of the last 6, and Carolina in 4 out of the last 6, so that's a pretty good indication that this is going to be a high scoring game. If you take a look at what the score prediction is showing at 5 to 2 in favor of Carolina with about 31% level of confidence, that is going to indicate a higher scoring game. The line has not yet been set, but guaranteed that would be an over if it plays out to a 7 goal total. The power ranking indicator shows here that Carolina is on an upward trend there at plus 29, while Edmonton is down a little bit at plus 17. The stability factor, how well are the teams performing according to their fair to underdog status? You can see that Carolina is an increasingly stable team at plus 17, while Edmonton is pretty stable as well at plus 9. It indicates that both teams are pretty much performing very consistently with their fair to underdog status. In the end, I like Carolina to come out on top, probably by about two goals. It should not be a very close game. Carolina by two and over the line. Buffalo and Dallas. The Sabres have struggled to the third worst record in the Eastern Conference, while the Stars are 10th in the Western Conference. You can see Buffalo is on a four game losing streak and they are just 2 and 4 over their last six at ice cold down stash, while Dallas is average up, winners of four out of their last six. The power ranking indicator shows here that Dallas was at plus 18, they have dropped to plus 11, while Buffalo has also dropped a bit there at only plus three. The stability factor, both teams have been performing consistently at plus 17 for Buffalo, plus 10 for Dallas. That has been an increasing trend over time. So let's take a look at the score prediction. The score prediction has Dallas by a 4 to 1 margin with about 42% level of confidence. I would tend to avoid the over under here as you see that Buffalo has. It was under the last game, over in four out of the last six, but Dallas is the other way around, under in four out of the last six. So, you know, the opposite ends of the spectrum there tells me to avoid betting the over-under. But as far as the game goes, I do like the Stars to win by a couple of goals. St. Louis and Chicago. Two longtime rivals face off in this one, but the teams are heading in opposite directions. You see the Blues are burning hot. They are, are winners of four out of their last six. While the Blackhawks are ice cold down, losers of their last three and losers of four out of their last six games. The power ranking indicator will show a similar thing here. St. Louis is at plus 20, while Chicago is at plus 8. Now, you take notice that this is from a few days ago. Once that gets updated, we will have some current numbers there. Um, the score prediction shows Chicago by a 4-3 to three edge at home with about 65% level of confidence. Interesting prediction considering that Chicago has been considerably worse than St. Louis. Let's look at the stability factor. Chicago at plus 15 on an upward trend and St. Louis at plus uh, 9. They are up and down. They were up as high as plus 10 back about a month ago. So you can see they've not been as stable over the past month. Take that into consideration. I do believe somehow I just have a little bit of a Got feeling on this one that Chicago is going to end their losing streak. Match it's going to match the score prediction. I like Chicago. As far as the over under goes, I would avoid the over under bet in this one because the teams have been like in the last two. Chicago was over under. St. Louis was under over. It's been a little bit inconsistent as far as that goes. So I do like Chicago, but I would avoid the over under. Winnipeg and Arizona. The last one we want to look at is Pittsburgh and Columbus. The Penguins are fourth in the Eastern Conference, while the Columbus Blue Jackets are fighting for a playoff spot, staying ninth in the conference. Pittsburgh's average status at the moment, winners of four out of their last six, but they have lost their last two. 
Columbus is burning hot at the moment. They are winners of four out of their last six and winners of three straight. Uh, excuse me, they've won five out of their last six and winners of three straight. If you look at the over and under, you can see Columbus has been involved in high-scoring games in their last four over the line and five out of their last six over the line, while Pittsburgh has been in games over the line in four out of the last six. Pretty good indication that this is going to be another high-scoring contest. The score prediction is showing pretty much the same thing. Seven goal total with Pittsburgh winning 4-3 to three and confidence in prediction of 56%. If you look at the power rankings indicator, Pittsburgh is at plus 26 on a slight downward trend, while Columbus is at plus 14, matching, well, a little bit down from where they were back a couple weeks ago. The volatility oscillator shows both teams consistently performing, plus 15 for Columbus, plus 12 for Pittsburgh. Although Pittsburgh was at plus 12 about a month ago as well, you can see they've been up and down as far as the their consistency is going. But I do think that Pittsburgh clearly is the better team. Um, I know Columbus has been hot, but I do like Pittsburgh to come back, end their two-game losing streak, and take a win on the road. In a high-scoring game going over the line, perhaps into overtime before they claim the victory. So there you have it. So those are the games that we want to look at for February 27th of 2022. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.